So here we are uh, messing around with the Arduino stuff again. Uh, what I did was uh, I got a new infrared, uh, or not infrared, ultrasonic sensor uh, from the manufacturer. Uh, I ordered this thing from Amazon in a previous video. It was defective. Uh, they uh, rebated me 20% of the purchase price of this thing, which was more than enough to grab another cheapo sensor. Um, got the wireless video on there. Um, what I did is I hooked it up and I still had problems, so I flashed this with a, a sketch just for uh, the uh, distance measuring. And then I went on the oscilloscope and checked everything was working. Um, I was able to measure distances, so I went back to the original motor sketch, which uh, uh, came from the, the Sane Smart um, PDF, I think it was, and a couple other sources, and I, I cobbled together. Well, actually, I just compiled what they had, and it didn't work. The, the rover was just constantly back and forth and acting foolish and whatnot. So I dug into the code, and... Uh, I really skipped a lot of steps here. Most people start blinking an LED with these boards and, and various other things. Uh, I went right into the robot code and uh, I learned early that the motor driver that's down under here is actually a stepper motor driver. So it's kind of limited in what it can do with the actual um, driving the wheels. It's not a true four wheel drive. It's only two forward, two back. So uh, what I did was go into the code and I found these uh, delays and uh, I started messing with the delays and I started getting a, a better response from the rover. So I tweaked the heck out of them, up the distances so that it wouldn't crash into anything, or well it still crashes into stuff, but uh, wouldn't be quite so much that as it uh, gets to a stop, it stops earlier before impact with an object. And then I tweaked the code for the all stop, which forces all motors to a stop, and some more delay work. And oddly enough, I got this thing to do some pretty cool stuff. Um, I, w I was quite amazed on on what it can do. Um, kind of a bit of a turnaround here. I would recommend somebody mess with this. I don't know whether I'd get this particular model with the stepper motor driver. I'd get something with a little bit better driver. They're 10 bucks more. And uh, then you can actually control all four wheels independently and, and do things a little better. But for what it does, i uh, kind of impressed. Um, yeah, I have to say it's, it's pretty neat. I, I learned a lot about the way it codes and uh, the way um, you can actually write the sketch to do what you want. Um, this is a really basic sketch, and this is going to be really shaky, but sorry. Um, that's the code for the measuring distance, and these are the code for four-wheel, forward, backward, turn, and right now it just random turns. Uh, what I'm going to do... I've got all kinds of spare I.O. on this, tons and tons of spare I.O. So I'm going to take the 3D printer and I'm going to print uh, a bumper for it and do um, uh, impact sensors. So basically a bumper that can tell whether the left side or right side or the rear sides get, get touched. Very, very seldom that you're going to get a very center impact. It's always going to be offset by a little bit so then the rover can react accordingly and I'm going to uh, take that kind of the next level and maybe throw on some beeps and buzzes and more LEDs so I can see what's going on but uh, I'm kind of it's really really neat it changes the way that you think about the world around you when you need to program it like a robot um, our perception is really really funny it uh, you ever see the the video of the uh, you got to count the times the basketball has been passed on the court and in the middle of it there's a guy in a gorilla suit who walks across and the first time you see it um, you don't even notice it and uh, the rover is much much similar it reacts to the things right in front of it but it can miss other stuff so uh, watched a re really cool documentary and learned a lot so. Anyway, I'll see if I can set this down quick before the battery goes completely dead on this thing and uh, show you what it does right now. 
because we've only got a few seconds of battery life left, but we'll turn it on and see what it does. Saw the wall, saw the stairs. The batteries in this thing are completely dead too. Saw my foot. And away it goes again. Actually, uh, working a treat. Uh, oddly enough, when I first powered the thing up, it, it couldn't do this. It wouldn't not not react accordingly. And it's probably going to smash into something here. Oh no, kind of sorta. And it sees the speaker there, and away it goes again. Pretty cool.